because that's my real personality. I grew up making art since I was a young kid. And uh, one of the things that inspired me is that I was a little kind of secluded kind of kid. Then later on with art, I started start becoming and evolving into different personalities and all of a sudden I became the deadhead. What I'm doing is uh, I'm painting myself, but in a way I'm taking off my skin, my face so you can actually know my, my real personality. But I, I'm actually not covering myself. People think that I hide behind, behind my, my makeup, but it's not true, right? It's the opposite. I draw a lot of Day of the Dead work, and I used to do like animation and Japanese and shit, but that wasn't me. That wasn't my personality. But since I am a Mexican and this is what I know, what better way to express myself than a Mexican style of Day of the Dead mixed with punk music. It's like my own kind of genre shit that I do. I started learning art, and one of the things that fine arts is, is to get inside the human mind or the personalities or spiritualities or psych conscious. So I started playing with all of this stuff. So what I did is that for example, there's a person that I'm drawing, I get inside, I, I take the skin off, I go inside, and I get their skull or their soul, and then I metamorphose it into the human or the animal there is inside. It's, it's more like a motif, you know, a symbol for the human soul. A couple of years ago, I didn't have a style of music. Like, I didn't, I didn't consider me as a punk artist. But 2000, The Strokes came out. And one of the, the main musicians that I really admire is The, the Strokes, The, Bra the Bravery, uh, Interpol, Yeah Yeah Yes, The Sounds. These are the bands that started me to go way back to 1976, the real punk. Uh, Suicide, Ramones, uh, Iggy Pop. What I do basically is that I get my balls, I draw something and I draw them and I go to the concerts and I go like, I don't care. I just try to meet them after the concert and it does work. Many people think that you don't do that and you're not gonna meet people, but you do if you, if you wanna do it, you do it. And that's what I do and I have met all these people. And they sign my work and they, I give them posters and shit just because of their time. One of the things that I start doing when I, when I start painting, I start with a rough sketch, a drawing and a sketchbook I created, but that's not the finished product. I start with the color in the back, and these are circular motions, and I'm trying to, it's, it, you don't see nothing, it's just uh, fucking colors, blues, grains, whatever I feel like. And then all of a sudden, this whole circular thing starts creating something it becomes like a soul it becomes like the mood of the character then after that the black ink like ink or oil whatever i do it's like you know going downwards and upwards i, I give the viewer stress and i'm trying to mimic cutting to the skin i'm going inside and taking pulling stuff away then after that this motion that i start creating it helps me to create the skull and what the score is, is the end of like the personality. This one, um, I went to Houston and uh, this guy is Shepard Ferry. He is the creator of Obey, the giant. It's the political statement of we, we obey TV, we obey, um, we obey everything that America throws us. And what I did is that I changed his face to a raccoon. In a sense, he is like a raccoon. And I gave it to him, I gave him this poster so he can paste it with his work. And he said that he was not gonna paste it because he wants it, he put it in his office and shit in California. 
and he's one of my like good friends and one of my idols in a sense and stuff. But graffiti in a sense like uh, it's, it has been a big inspiration for me, even though I don't do it, but instant inspiration. But, good friend of mine. This is my logo. And in a way, it's a logo and a signature. This is really important to get the message straight up. It's open you, the my, my mind, so you can see your own mind. You know, that's the representation of the moth. This idea, I got it from my, my grandmother, because she started fucking freaking out when she saw a black moth. And she, she said that when she used a huge black moth, it will represent death. And, and this, it's, it's my name, but it's probably me. Like, this is me. This is what I am. Not this, what I'm living, but this is my real soul. Sometimes I fall asleep and I see myself flying, and I see myself like, uh, rapid, ra like being in a cocoon and growing up again, and uh, dying and living and, and, and fighting for your life and stuff. That's why I see myself as a moth, and it's really important to understand the whole point of, of the moth in a, in, a, in a way. This is my CD. I get it. <laughs> my demo CD.